Hey everybody, welcome back to Kenzo's Workbench. Today, there's no bench in front of me there, but there's good reason for it. So I 3D printed a 200% scale two bat. And of course you can see there, I didn't really know how to angle the camera. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I thought I'd put it on camera showing my work. So I was using my airbrush with, I've got one of those little Harbor Freight um, compressors. And I think that I got it on sale for maybe a hundred bucks. The airbrush, I've had a few airbrushes. I've had really expensive ones. This one I think is 30 bucks on Amazon. So airbrushing isn't that crazy expensive, but if you've got the room and you've got the means, it's worth it. It really, really makes a difference in your work. Uh, I do have some airbrush paints that I'm using. I have probably three different brands. I think this color might have been from Amazon, but uh, Vallejo is going to be the one I usually use for the airbrush. But I am very, very happy with how things turn out with this airbrush. Obviously, the first thing is the the strokes and the layers everything goes on really smooth you don't have to worry about any kind of brush strokes if depending on obviously the paint you use you really don't have too much anyway but i just feel that this is so much smoother of an application than using you know a standard brush so i apologize for this i don't know what the hell i was doing i turned my thing i think i might have been changing out something so you get to see my pocket for a few seconds um, and then I'll switch back. But um, this one was a fun one. Uh, having such a large scale too bad just seemed like a good idea. And when I finished, I thought, yeah, I was right. It, it, it's good to be right sometimes because not, not all the time am I right. So I will take what I can get when I get it. So I do apologize for this really weird scene here. So I think I might have tried to hit stop and then it didn't stop. So then I looked back and I saw, oh crap. So then I stopped it. So the second piece here, this is gonna be that purple that I mixed a little bit with like a, I had like a raspberry red involved in that one. Pretty cool little mixture because once I did this second coat, it, it really darkened up and looked really cool. So it does have a very good color match with the vintage piece. And so here I'm just spraying my life away. Uh, I didn't tape anything for the bottom two coats just because I figured it hopefully I didn't say this in the beginning but I just had something happen on my phone and it cut all my audio so um <laughs> so I didn't do that so I oversprayed a little but I think the overspray in the middle actually looked cooler than painting that that little drip that the vintage piece has I did do the drip on the left the right leg but that's it Everything else, I just allowed the fading of the airbrush to do the work. So it actually, I thought it came out really good. But, so what I was kind of saying before that I got cut off was that on this particular, on all the figures that I do that are 12 inch or 200%, not quite 12, I guess. This one seems bigger than 12. But a lot of them, what I end up doing is printing the legs attached. I've done it. I've printed them without that way. And there's been so many times where I've tried to attach them with resin. It's so difficult and there's a lot of breakage in those really weak points. So I found found that if you, I just attach them pre-print and then print them all attached because I, it's just gonna save a lot of heartache because really I'm printing these for adults. I'm printing them either for myself or I'm printing them for somebody else that's gonna put them on a shelf and they're gonna look pretty. So I do like to put as much articulation in them as I can. This one has a five POA, but only because it has two heads. So you've got the heads, the arms, and the, the waist is articulated, but the legs and the feet and everything, those stay the same. And obviously if we all have our vintage pieces, we know what happens on those. Those legs are terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of different design and all that, but still, you know, if you could have those vintage ones where the legs were a lot sturdier, we'd be a lot happier. But I digress. So here's the armor piece. I did obviously do this with a regular paintbrush. I 
you know, I kind of went back and forth and that's okay. That's definitely the good way to do it is mix, you know, different mediums on how you're going to get that on there. Uh, the, um, the paintbrush, I believe I just got on Amazon. It was, you can see the wooden handle there, but I'm obviously using a bigger paintbrush because yeah, look at this big old bulky piece. Uh, but it was one piece on the printer, which is great. That medium size, I printed on a Saturn II, printed really good. All these larger figures, I'm able to do really easily on that Saturn II. Very inexpensive. If you guys are looking into 3D printing, I would definitely look at Elegoo. They have a, amazing printers and great customer service. I've had issues before with firmware and stuff, and it literally i got it fixed within an hour or two just calling customer service or messaging them emailing them so very very good customer service and the printers are great like i've printed with nothing but elegoo i know uh anacubic makes a good printer as well but i just personally have just used those so anywho but coming up i guess i only have about a minute left on the video so i'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a heads up um really fun project uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is kind of that quick time lapse and me just rambling on and on. But I hope you guys got a nice little insight of what it takes to, to do something, which isn't really much. I mean, if you got the drive and you've got the love for it. This is These are definitely passion projects. Just pull out a paintbrush and, and, you know, grab a figure from the dollar store to practice painting. And then eventually you get better at it. And then you start doing stuff like this. You get commissioned and, you know, the rest is history. So... I appreciate everybody for staying with me to the end that did. And um, I just, here's the finished product. So hope you guys enjoy. And if you do like what you see and you enjoyed the video, there's going to be more coming for sure. So um, thank you so much. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give me a like. Subscribe to my uh, channel or maybe tell a friend. See if I can get this channel going up a little bit more. And um, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.